What's going on YouTube? This is J. Cool James. I'll let your boy. Come on in and check it out. I got something real special for you guys today. Hope you like it. Today we're going to review the Artist XP Pen 22E. And the reason I chose to review this tablet is because it's one that I had my eye on for a long time. So I wasn't sure if maybe some of you guys were curious about it as well. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. The Artist XP Pen 22E is a bit of an upgrade. First off, I'm coming from a board tablet, so this is a nice piece of equipment for me personally to improve my workflow. I went with the 21 and a half inch screen because I don't want to have to upgrade at a later point in time, so I just went ahead and with the old fashioned motto, go big or go home. So I got the 21 and a half inch tablet, which dwarfs my HP 15, which was what I was drawing with before with my board tablet. The Artist XP Pen, is an upgrade compared to the XP Pen Artist 22 HD in two main reasons. First off, cable placement, huge. I don't know who came up with that original design, but this is an upgrade. As you can see at the bottom, there's no cables or cords coming out of them, nothing whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about bending or crunching cables over time and possibly damaging your own equipment. But over here on the right hand side is where all the cables come out safely and go right into your computer. You've got three connections. I've got the USB cable, I've got the HDMI, and I've also got the power adapter. So everything is coming straight out of here and going to where I need it. As well as the stand, I've got the, the stand adjustable. It's got rubber grips, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Your artwork's not gonna move, you're not gonna slip. It lays nearly flat it'll also come up and go nearly vertical as well and it operates pretty easily it's got a little clip in the back and once you pull that lever it goes ahead and operates just the way you need it to so we're going to go ahead and lay that back to a comfortable position because i don't draw upright like that but it's nice to be able to adjust and get to a comfortable uh, posture especially if you're going to be drawing for hours Drawing for hours is something that I personally like to do, if I can, when I can, but having that adjustability and the fact that the screen doesn't get hot definitely makes this tablet worth it. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. What are some of the pros about this tablet besides just cable placement and an adjustable stand? The biggest one for me is hotkeys. That was the biggest upgrade. I had hotkeys on my Parblo A610 board tablet but I had driver issues, so those hotkeys didn't work. Now, with this, the driver seems a lot more user-friendly, it's a lot smoother, and it works. So my hotkeys work too, and that's improved my workflow tremendously. I'm able to move through programs a lot faster and a lot more effortlessly than I was before. And that for me is huge, especially if I'm trying to complete a project or something that I've been wanting to work on for a while. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be the same way. Uh, the hotkeys come already pre-programmed. You're going to want to do some customizing. The reason I say that is, to me, the eraser key is a waste of a hotkey. You already have your eraser and pen on a toggle switch on the actual pen itself. So if you can see here, we have two buttons. You have your right click and you have your toggle switch. As you're toggling, each time you press that button, you're going to see it appear that you're in eraser mode or pen mode. So there's no need for an eraser key. I use the eyedropper tool quite a bit in my workflow, so I went ahead and changed it to that. Other than that, your pre-designated keys are gonna to be to increase your brush size, decrease your brush size, zoom in, zoom out, undo, which is huge, as well as a hand. You're gonna be able to grab your artwork, move it around, do what you need to do, and then you've got your brush tool that you can switch to. These are gonna come in handy. I haven't had to change the rest just yet. I may end up changing the brush tool later, but eraser tool was definitely something I changed right off the bat. So I took the time to get acquainted with this piece of equipment, let some of the excitement wear off. That way I could give you guys an honest review without just being jazzed because it was a monitor tablet. It is a nice upgrade, I'm not gonna lie. But being able to get through the functions of it and see exactly how it works, I'm glad that I did that. So let's get straight to it. If you guys come over to this side, you'll be able to see them. I'll show you these hotkeys here. Since they're mirrored, it's nice because it doesn't matter if you're a right or left-handed artist. 
the keys are going to work for you regardless. However, once you select what is keys you want and you have everything set up, being a right or left handed artist, it would be a nice feature if you could somehow deactivate the set of hotkeys that you're not going to be using. And the reason why is because this is where all my layer information is. There's a lot of work that happens here with my right hand. And sometimes I accidentally hit these hotkeys, whether it be accidentally zooming out of my work or sometimes getting something just right and accidentally hitting the undo key. And that can be a bit of a nuisance. So it'd be nice if you could deaden these keys. That for me is a con. It's not a huge con, not something that would keep me from purchasing this tablet, but it is something to keep in mind, okay? And the same thing over here, if you're a left-handed artist, there's a lot of work that happens over here, whether it be selection tools, or even if you were to invert this setting for yourself, you're still gonna be hitting keys over here from time to time. Just something to keep in mind. As you're working on this tablet, you'll notice I've heard a lot of people complain about the screen protector. The screen protector came already pre-applied. There were no issues with that. There were no bubbles. The bubbles that are in there now are because I accidentally put them there. Cleaning the tablet, if you're not careful, you can pick up one of these corners with the, the cleaning cloth, and then you'll end up with bubbles in your corners like I have. But they're out of the way of the screen, so I don't have any issues with those. The texture of the screen protector. It's not a matte finish like paper. It's somewhat glossy. It's not quite like the glass. But a lot of people complained about it squeaking when they drew. As you can see, there's no squeaking. Why? When you first purchase this tablet, it will squeak. And it's kind of like nails on a chalkboard. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. But you have to break it in before that goes away. That squeaking isn't permanent, it's just because it's brand new. Your pen nibs are new, the screen protector's new. But once everything's broken in, probably within the first two to three days, the squeaking goes away. Let's go ahead and erase that. So, not only does the squeaking go away, uh, you get a little bit more familiar with what's going on, as well as your settings. If you take the time to read the instruction manual, which most people in their excitement, mostly men, we don't, uh, you might miss some of the finer points of this. So if you're gonna use this for more than just artwork, people will tell you that you get a nice HD screen when you're doing your art, but as far as text, that the texts are not HD or that they can't use this as their main tablet because when they're surfing the web, things don't come up in HD. That's actually not true, and here's why. You can see I have text over here that are in high definition. I have no problem reading HD text on this monitor tablet. And the reason why is because if you go out, you can see here as well, not just in the art program, but I have HD letters everywhere I go. But if you go to the settings of your computer, you can actually change it to where your screen uh, output is gonna be what's required for this tablet, which is 1920 by 1080. So once you go into the settings on your computer, you'll be able to set, change that as well as since it's going to set itself to mirror on this, you'll be able to set it to where you're getting the appropriate uh, quality definition that you're looking for. That's actually in the instruction manual. I'm not sure if maybe that didn't come with some of the first generation tablets, but it was in my set of instructions. So I would recommend you guys, if you get this tablet, go into your computer settings again uh, to be under your your display features and it'll, it'll have this tablet up as a mirror and you can also change the output settings to 1920 by 1080. Okay, so how does it operate all in all? Let's go ahead and get straight to it. This is a sketch that I couldn't quite get good line quality with in on my board tablet. So I wanted to be able to go ahead and get that quality line work that I'm looking for. And now that I have a the brush size. Now that I actually have a monitor tablet, I feel like I'm actually able to create that clean line work that I've been looking for this entire time. And being able to do line work for me, uh, it was a bit frustrating on a board tablet because I always felt like I couldn't draw a straight line 
I also couldn't draw curves. I don't know what the disconnect was for me not being able to like see my hand drawing on the surface, but it really didn't work well for me. And that's why I felt like it was very important for me to get a pen tablet. And like I said, the uh, hotkeys have definitely helped to improve my workflow. As far as parallax goes, a lot of people complain about parallax on uh, monitor tablets. The parallax isn't a big deal on this one, only because you have 9 point calibration, 9 and 4 point calibration. And once you calibrate it, it works just fine, as long as your driver set up properly. Uh, this comes with the anti-fouling glove, two pins, the charging cable, everything that you're going to need to get set up. Uh, different attachments, VGA cable, etc, etc. Uh, I'm not going to do an unpackaging. I think there's enough of that already out there and you can look on Amazon and see what the thing comes with. Uh, but as far as setting up your tablet, you're going to uh, want to go ahead to the XP Pen website and download the latest drivers because the driver that comes on the CD may not be the latest uh, latest driver uh, for your operating system. So if you head over to the XP Pen website, not only will you find the latest drivers, it'll also tell you uh, those drivers are for which operating systems and for what tablets they're compatible with. And they always update. Uh, they even got one up for May of 2018 for my tablet and my operating system, uh, Windows version 1709. Uh, they just released one last month. And I went ahead and downloaded that driver. And it worked quite nicely for me. You can see I still have So you can see all in all, it's pretty smooth. Definitely helps my workflow having those hotkeys. Nicely set up. Let's give this guy his, his mustache. A little facial hair. I like to do different hair techniques for different cultures. And this is what I'm gonna go with for this particular guy. I like to make my people look different. Everybody doesn't look the same. All right. So, I personally am going to go ahead and give the artist XP pen. 22e a five-star review uh, I like the tablet overall I'm happy with it it's got great features it definitely does the job it's high quality the thing is heavy uh, it's not overly heavy but you can tell it's pretty sturdy uh, in the stand it's adjustable the rubber grips make sure it's not going anywhere it's got a good pen uh, you have to press kind of firm with the 2048 levels of pressure sensitivity if you want to reach that maximum level of pressure uh, so that's why I left my screen protector on. I don't really want to risk scratching my investment. Uh, not when you have to work hard to get anything that you like in life. So I went ahead and left my screen protector on. I just don't want to risk uh, putting any scratches or damaging anything. I'd rather scratch up a screen protector and replace that than have to replace an entire tablet. Uh, not that you have to like grind on it, but you have to press somewhat firm when you're even when you pull up the, the driver just to test the pressure sensitivity. Um, but all in all, I, I haven't had any issues with it. Um, I know there's other brands out there. Um, personally, from using this for the last month, I don't see this thing lacking uh, $1,500 worth of quality, so I'm not sure why there's such a price difference between this and other models. But for the value, this is definitely a great deal.
that's a great quality product. It's going to get the job done. You're going to be able to do your, your workflow uh, just right. You've got your hotkeys. You've got everything that you need. And it's a big upgrade if any of you guys are coming from a board tablet or even just trying to upgrade to a larger size monitor tablet. I personally recommend this. It does great work and I haven't had any issues. So I'm going to give it five stars and go ahead and recommend it. Uh, until next time, this is J. Cool James signing out. Holla at your boy.